Right, so what we're going to do today is climb up Mount Marley. Run. And that's the view from down here, the main street. So Stanthorpe. It's quite a beautiful town here. It's quite large. There's over 5,000 people living here as of the 2016 census. I mean, last week we stayed at Pittsworth, which is just more west of Toowoomba. It's got about 3,000. 5,000 here and it's just to compare if you know Logan City Beanley Beanley has over 8,000 people and here we come to Alice Street so we're going to be going up Marley via the backside of the mountain. You can see up at the top there's some kind of a, I don't know, transmitter for radio, TV, mobile phones and all that stuff. Here in Stantorpe, this is the granite belt. And it's not called the granite belt for nothing. There's so much granite here. It's just amazing. You know that granite slab that your boys wanted for your kitchen? This is it. There's so much here, you can come and take it for free. Just load up one of those massive boulders on the back of your ute and you're good to go. This will be our start point. So, here we go. Up Mount Marley. All for your viewing pleasure. This is great. I believe at various points there's mountain biking trails that cross over. And here we go, I can see it right now. Shared trail. And these are considered black diamond trails. Here we go. Come on down and cross over oh. but today we're on foot so we're going to be going up up the footpath look at this tiny little finch oh here we go this is what I saw in the mountain biking videos as the bike has come pumping on past. Don't know what it is, might be remains of an old water tank. So the bike has come pumping down here, down here, it's a bit of a drop. Nothing crazy, that's really doable, it's a rollable drop even. Yeah, so pretty cool, pretty cool. Anyways, we're gonna be going back up that footpath. It's just over here off to my right. And here we are already, up at the top. And here's the various uh, start points for the bikes. There's heaps of them. So look at this. You got two green trails, one blue and two blacks. Green granite loop, rusty trail, Greg escape, hammerhead and tank slapper. They looked brilliant. So, let's keep on pumping up to this transmitter up here. So let's get to maybe one of the highest points, I think here it is. So 
so here we are this is the highest point here at Stanthorpe closest to the town Mount Marley 919 meters above sea level now from Alice Street it only took me like four minutes to run up here and I stopped and was looking at some mountain biking trails four minutes so it's a real easy um, pathway up really nicely constructed footpath and it's just great I'm surprised though you know when I came up here yesterday with my wife uh, 919 megas come up here and I'm like no way no way man it just doesn't feel 919 megas high I've been up big mountains I've been up up uh, 1700 mega high mountains over in New Zealand but here it was a walking park and then I didn't realize it but Stanthorpe is already in an elevated position it's 811 meters above sea level so that explains it. I'm only going up 100 meters so anyway I felt you know I had this inkling but I just didn't know specifically how high Stanthorpe was so I thought that was pretty cool anyway uh, but 919 meters now there is another mountain and I really don't think I'll get the chance um, to do it today but literally a little bit more on the western side um, literally where I'm pointing now over there is Mount Banker now that's 900 meters on the dot to the millimeter 900 meters high so that would be another cool one if you're here at Stanthorpe it's literally a run it looks to me about three kilometer something like that over on the other side I don't know if you can walk it up I couldn't see any tracks up on uh, maps.me however Mount Marley gotta love this So you can see over there that's Mount Banker and I'll estimate yeah look I'll give it three kilometers from here don't know if there's any foot trails that go up but you know what there's always a way up a mountain always wow these things are so clear I can't believe it, these binoculars, honestly, they're like the first ones I've ever come across that are so clear and they're for free. I can't, I can't get over it. <laughs> Normally you're paying like $2 for two seconds on these things. Mount Marley, a great lookout. We were here yesterday last night for an impromptu um, dinner in the back of the car it's great i love doing things like that don't know if anyone else is like that just pull up somewhere you just buy some bread some you know meat from the deli at, at the iga it was and just bugger cheese and just go for it just park somewhere and chow but it's so good i got to do it with my wonderful wife and here we are just this beautiful getaway look at this i love it i love it you just can't beg it so yeah here we go let's head down this mountain really nice concrete footpath over here eh? hey I've just noticed just on an offshoot here there's some really tall rocks I've got to just climb up it
Yeah, I won't be getting up this particular rock. <laughs> All right, so coming down Mount Marlow, just going to go down the main drag. Here's something interesting. There's a soldier's memorial. In memory of our gallant boys who fell in the world's war. And then you've got World War II, Roll of Honor as well. I'm assuming they might hold Anzac Day services here, lest we forget. I don't know, perhaps this may have been like a bunker back in the day this memorial park is actually really nice that was worth the stop that's quite good i like these places of historical relevance especially when they uh, honor those that have gone before us in, and have fought for the freedoms that we enjoy today australia wouldn't be australia if we didn't have those brave young men and women back in the day helping us gain our freedoms and helping us to have what we have and enjoy today in uh, 2021.